how to create an opt-in page and link it to the new mailing box 5 inside Builder All. Now, if you followed yesterday's training, uh, we've already set up our list and our emails in Mailing Boss. If you haven't already, I'll put it in the description below. And if I can find out how to do it, I shall pop it in that video up there or up there at the end. <laughs> anyway, I'm in the dashboard. And as you know, you can click tools and go into Cheetah here. Or you can click apps and go into Cheetah there. I think I'm going to go this way for a change. Now, they keep making changes and updating this. So as of today, the, they have hidden the new blank template. So I'm going to show you. It's usually at the top left. But they are going to put it back. So you want the blank template, or you have to... Because what they've done is they've actually, uh, there's too many there to choose from. So you can just, if you want to do a health and wellness, you can do the colour, you can do the type landing pages or whatever. That's, they've, they've streamlined it somewhat. So anyway, you want a blank template. Blank template. Search. So they've got blank. Those aren't blank. To me, that's not blank. <laughs> this is blank. I want to. You can select that, but I'm actually going to show you from scratch how to put the email form on this. So I want this one. Okay, and we're going to call it, let's have a look, we're going to name it. Uh, in the settings, we're going to name it, do you test? And I'm going to make it one word, you test. Because the address you are out needs the dashes in between. Okay, then you can put that and save it. Now, we're going to find out how to put your email form and connect it to mailing box, which we did yesterday. Okay. So this is what comes up. So we've already got a panel there, so we can use that panel. Make it a little bit bigger. And we can just, you could right to edit this little text. You can keep clicking on it or right click, then click the pen. And then you can test the uh, mutual test. Highlight it, make it bigger. There we go. That'll do. This is just for information. You don't really need the box. But anyway. Right. If you want a text, if you want to add a text, you put elements on top of a panel and just waz it across. No, you don't. You actually think you have to add it and waz it across, but you have to go like this. So if you want to delete that whole thing, which is what I want to do to show you how to do it from scratch, then I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to put the YouTube test. Okay. So that's step one. 
this little arrow, if you lose all the elements at the side, it's only here. So you go return, you can go back to the elements, and now you want an email form. Email for this one. Now you can choose, there are quite a few to choose from. I think I'm going to choose this one. Whee! Was it across? Been listening to Jamie on the too much. Was it in? Um, hey presto, which email list do I want to add in? This is why I said do it before you do this. So I want YouTube test and then you save it. Cool. Now save this. We, we don't need to publish it yet. Now, what I want you to do is, now you can, if you've got a background on here, if you want to duplicate it twice, you can. I'll show you how to duplicate it. So if you've got a background that you want to keep, you can do that or you can just create a new page and call it thank you page. So there's two different ways of doing this, but if you want the background, use the first method. And you also have to put that, I call it pending, or you could pending, because it's pending confirmation. I could call it email confirmation page, whichever one you prefer. Now, there you go. So now we've got our three pages. Now, what you write on this pending page is something like this. You have to say, thanks for subscribing. Uh, hop over to your email uh, and confirm to get some goodies from me. But obviously, we don't want that, so we can delete it. I'm just showing you. So you can delete that. Now, if you want it the same, the same going into there and getting the rigmarole, you can clone this element, look. Clever, eh? And then you can write your text in. So I'm giving you multiple ways to do the same thing. Okay, so thanks. Put a capital. Thanks. I can't do capitals. Thanks. Or subscribing. Please hop over to your email. Confirm to get your free gift. So obviously this is for a free gift. Then if you want to, you can make it. Oh, I like that. And you can centre it like this. You can centre this one like this. That's already centred. Let me show you about the, you can do the different colours. You can make that orange. So, and to do the, if you want to put a background colour on the panel, you can edit the panel and change the colour that way. But we're not going to do it now. So I'm going to save that because save is your friend. Okay, save is your friend. Then, now, you can down arrow and go straight to the thank you page. And I'll save and exit again. Add a panel. Now, add a blank panel. 
Design Panel. There you go. So we're on the thank you page and I want to add text. So I'm going to choose this text here. And we're going to say thank you for subscribing. So you click on the pen and you get thank you for subscribing. Just send you things to help you on your journey, something like that. And again, if you want to have a play around with it, I'll even do that. You can make it pretty. If you want to put a picture behind it, this is just for teaching purposes. All the pages need the same background. Edit the elements. You can change the background settings, change the colour, make it blue, pick a light blue, pick a dark blue. But as I said, a neutral colour is probably better. Or you can have a picture by sticking an image in there. But we're not going to do that today. I'm just showing you how you can change things. So if we want white, that's not white, is it? F, 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 F is white. 6X. Save. So we've done our three pages. So now we want to publish it. Okay, but we want to, to make sure everything is set because the email was above and the name was below. So we want to swap it over. We want to unpublish it. We want to make sure that it's linked together. If, it, if you find that the pages don't work, you need to unpublish and publish it a couple of times and put your domain name on. So let's see if this works. No, it hasn't worked yet. Because, ah, now you see that name and email has come up twice. Let's remedy that first. Go here. No, this is quirky. <laughs> so you right click. Now it's in the settings on this one. So you go into settings and you you can click off that, and that's called the label. Or you can click off that, but we want one of them, don't we? Okay. There you go. So that's that one done. I'm going to publish it again. So it's always best to test it out. Test, 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 test. Before you... Right. And now we want to check the pages. Set the link. So this, will, when they click on this button, where will they go? Now, click on this one. Page. Pending. This is why we name the pages. When they confirm, they want the thank you page. There you go. Done.
done. Wait, so we, that didn't take, so just do it again. It should take the first time round. You don't need an unsubscribe confirm. So therefore, you now save it. Save everything. Now, you see the name and the email are upside down. Watch this. Watch this space. We're going to un unpublish it. In fact, I want to go into publish on the main page because sometimes that works better. So if, if you're thinking oh, it hasn't taken, do it this way. So you press publish. Right, oops, I'm going to go up and now we're going to test it. We're just going to leave it a few seconds to so we can go to the website this way. You can connect your domain. Let me show you connect domain. So if you wanted to call this YouTube test, you would call it YouTube test dot your domain. And then and then connect, okay? So we will just go back here. Right, let's go. This should work now. We're going to go to the website. I'm going to test it out. Ha! It didn't work. We'll, sh we'll, sh we'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's have a look. Diane. Thanks for subscribing. We're going to go to my email, which this is a brilliant site. Look, here we go. Uh, this should be it. Inbox. <sighs> That's the right one. Sub subscribe, confirm email. Click here. See, it stands to reason if mine doesn't work sometimes, yours isn't going to work sometimes. Now I'm going to thank you for subscribing. Easy peasy lemon squeezer. Right. We are now going to go over to mailing boss. We're just going to double check the form that we did yesterday. Um, mailing boss. This is called Tab Extend. I only just got this and it's, um, I'm loving it already. Now we are going to check YouTube list. We did the sequence. Everything is programmed in the setting up of the list. Okay, so we're going to see the lists. Right, that's okay. We've got the right email, double the blah, 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 and forms. Here we go. This is what we didn't do yesterday. Eh? Maybe we didn't do it yesterday. If you swap them over and then update, Bada bing, bada boom. So if you change anything here, you go back into Cheetah. Mm. That's the one that I'm not using. Go into here, edit the site. 
Oh, my voice is crooked. Edit the page. And just to make sure you re click on the list and then it will propagate. So right click. It's very slow today. This is ah. Uh, so we set the list. Right at the bottom. YouTube test. Save. Now, let's test it again, shall we, guys? Okay. So we're going to save it. And we're going to republish it as well. So we're going to unpublish it. So that's why I haven't published it. I'm going to unpublish it. I'm going to go back off here. Publish it from the main site. Then publish. Now, let's do it. It should have worked now. So I'm not going to go through it all again because we know it works. But that is how, oh, I'm so glad that it didn't work because don't you think it's really frustrating when yours doesn't do what the teacher does? <laughs> Mine doesn't do that. But I'm so glad that it didn't work or I maybe forgot to put the name of the email in the right places yesterday. I don't remember. But if it didn't work or it didn't take, this is what you have to do to build an email list and simple opt-in page inside Bellroll. Yay! Go and make something great. Mine was pretty plain, pretty quick, pretty simple. Just show me what you can do in Bellroll. In the in the comments below, just say this is how this is my new funnel that I made with your training that would be so cool okay guys see you on the next video and tell me what you want me to do videos on inside world world because there is chat the chat box going to be next and the whatsapp launcher because I'm loving 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 the new tools see you later guys bye oh and if you want build world yes it's in the description below bye guys